Hi guys, this is Rusty78609 at Hoven Week National Monument. It's June the 1st, about 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. It's about uh, probably 60 degrees, nice, beautiful day. And there's my breakfast on my picnic table that they have here at these campsites at Hoven Week Campground. And that's the restrooms right there, and that's where you get water. And I'm just going to give you a heads up on what it's like to be camping out here in the real world. And there is a fire pit that I've never used. I don't start fires and there's my ice chest and water and I've got them set in the shade of that nice juniper tree and later on in the day I'll move them around <clears throat> since this site is level I don't have to use my tire blocks and this is the White House the Casablanca and all its radiating glory and uh, there's a little scan of my view in the front that's where you pick up your pay envelopes to pay right there in that little building there, well not building, I guess a little shade area there. And we'll come back around and I'll show you some more. And the reason I'm not talking so loud is because there's nobody, not er everybody's still asleep. And there are my wonderful steps that are worth their weight in gold. Everything's worth its weight in gold out here. <clears throat> and anyway, I'll let you see inside now. It's getting a little better. And uh, you know, that little pad there is, I use it for a shower pad when I shower outdoors, and it also makes a pad to crawl in and out. Uh, if, you need, if you need anybody to be a professional groveler, you know, where they grovel around on their knees, well, I could be a professional groveler, okay? I've got calluses on my knees. <laughs> but anyway, I got my towels hanging up in my bed. The reason I leave my bed unmade like that, I let it air out. And I got the windows open. I need to open that one farther, though. And that's my bath stuff in that black bag right there. And there's my worn out walking shoes right up under there. And there's the <clears throat> Group 27 battery box with a Group 31 battery in it. And it's got some extra plugs. And there's that 300 watt sine wa or pure sine wave inverter. And right now I'm charging my cell phone with this wire. And I'm charging my laptop with that wire. And I'm charging them off the battery and the solar, which is nice. I don't have to plug it into stuff in the pickup and think about running the battery down. And there are the lovely little solar panels pointed at the sun. And I love that. That's a 120 watt ZAMP portable solar system. It's called a suitcase solar. And we'll go around here and I'll show you some more about it. Uh, right now, I mean, I just got up and got them set up this morning. They've been up for about, oh, 20 minutes. Let me show you. <clears throat> it's showing the battery full, okay? I mean, that's amazing. I ran the fan most of the day yesterday, charged stuff, did everything. And then you touch this again, and uh, I believe that's showing the amps that's being used by the charger. I'm not sure, or be, being used by, yeah, by the chargers. And then this is, uh, well, that's 12.9 volts. And 1.3 amps, it's cloudy right now. So that's probably the amps that the uh, uh, solar panels are putting out right now because I don't have them pointed directly at the sun because there's a juniper tree in the way. So I'm getting a, I'm getting about a half shade over one of the panels. So, but that'll change in about 15 minutes. So having said that, I just wanted to give you a heads up for you guys that are thinking about doing this. It is beautiful. You know, the reward is this right here. You know, you got a beautiful view. It's always quiet. You hear birds all around and. But, you know, you pay a price for it. I mean, you know, you're, you're out of your element. You're, you know, everything's kind of inconvenient. I'm going to post a video later on today about that. I did last night. And, uh, but anyway, this is home right now on the road. Uh, they told me my Dometic refrigerator would be delivered today. And then I checked this morning and it shows tomorrow. And I called UPS and they're checking on it now. And they're supposed to call me back by 10 o'clock this morning and let me know for sure because I need the damn refrigerator so I can move to the next stop and get out of these no see which aren't that bad, but they are very irritating. But anyway, that is Casablanca. That is my home on the road. Been that way for, I don't know, God, uh, I don't know, 18, 19 days, whatever it happens to be. Long, not a long time. It, it, it's amazing. It just zips by. So anyway, you guys, if you're thinking about doing this uh, in, in a camper top or even a van, it's going to look, in a van or a car, it's going to look pretty much like this. It's going to be kind of cluttered. You just have to work real hard at staying organized and not having much stuff. But anyway, having said that, from Hoven Weep National Monument in Utah, 
on um, June the 1st, 2017. Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye, buy USA made when you can, drink plenty of water. Three quarts a day will not hurt you. And <clears throat> take deep breaths, breathe in through your nose, deep and out through your mouth several times a day. Why? That relieves stress. And when you relieve stress, you lower your blood pressure. When you lower your blood pressure, your heart doesn't have to work so hard. And when your heart doesn't have to work so hard, you feel better and you'll live longer. Wouldn't that be nice? And there's a beautiful mountain back in that's Ute Mountain. I've said that 50 times, I'm sure. And anyway, it's just a nice day. It's pretty here, you know, and thank goodness we've got some cloud cover. It won't be that hot today. And, uh, you know, stretch, walk, keep your health, and we'll just keep this adventure going, guys. Anyway, thumbs up. Bye-bye.